Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are you all doing today? Alright, so we've just had our maintenance done yesterday for the Japanese version of the game, and the English version was still undergoing the maintenance just a while ago. I'm not too sure why they didn't do the maintenance at the same time, like how they usually do them, so that's why I'm only going to be talking about the Japanese version of the game in this video. So let's get started. Alright, so first up, we have actually gotten quite a few new additions uh, to this update. Uh, the first one, they have added two characters into the limit break list. Alright, so now you can limit break Kiba, 5 stars, as well as Shino. Alright, so these two characters have been added to the um, limit break list. Alright, so second is a brand new feature. It's called the communication feature. Alright, this is made for the multiplayer uh, mode, all right? So I'm sure a lot of you who have tried the multiplayer mode or have been like a regular player of the multiplayer mode, like all of us should be probably, if you guys are farming and grinding for materials, we were, we're constantly in the multiplayer mode, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys have came across situations where it absolutely frustrates you, especially when you are hosting the multiplayer room, right? Because you're spending like 25 or 40 stamina as hosting a room. You come across like trolls or complete noobs who don't know what they're doing. They just totally waste your stamina or even waste your gems if you continue, right? Uh, yeah, sometimes I see trolls totally wasting the host gems and I hate seeing that. But anyway, so now they've added a brand new feature. It's called communication feature. Well, they called it uh, the stamp system. All right, so stamp system uh, functions like this. So you see this little tap thingy here. Uh, you see this little arrow. So when you're inside the multiplayer room, you will be able to see this uh, on your lower right hand corner where you see the first player, second player and third player. Once you click on it, you should be able to see like a list of buttons that you can click. And on the buttons, it's all these preset lines that will pop up on top of your characters. All right. So for example, this button or the stamp, uh, it's saying Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku in Japanese means uh, something like nice meeting you, right? Nice to meet you, right? Something along that line. So it's, uh, you know, fun things that you can do with your characters. Well, with other people, you can say like, oh, nice meeting you, hi, bye, etc. All right. So that might not be as useful to some of you, uh, especially to those of you who don't read Japanese or who don't know much of Japanese, because you guys might be like, okay, why is hi, bye, you know, nice meeting you uh, important, right? Probably not. But uh, the other more important part is that now there's a feature where it allows um, other players to tap on the map, okay? So I'm not too sure how this works yet because I haven't tried it out yet, but just judging from what uh, this paragraph says, also from the picture, uh, now you can actually click on the screen. So other players can probably see it, all right? And, uh, you know, maybe you're suggesting where to go next or what to do, etc. All right. So that's the cool part because now if you're the host or if you're teammates and when you find that someone is lost or don't know what they're doing, maybe you can help them out by tapping on the map. All right. So assuming there is no lag, assuming that when you're tapping it, it's still you guys are still on the same page that it's not you know, happening like two screens after, right? Uh, but yeah, so I guess that's the pros part, but the cons is, uh, you know, everything has a negative side is if you come across trolls, they might troll even harder. So I hope you can't spam it because if you keep clicking on it, it's gonna pretty much be uh, pretty pretty annoying, right? So I hope that will not happen. And uh, yeah, and for like people who are having like control issues, they might, want to uh you know control every single player and not have not leave them with any freedom to do anything right so it'd be like you know spam on the map be like yo go here go here right so i don't know uh hopefully it doesn't take the fun out hopefully it doesn't make you don't want to do multiplayer i don't know how it works but that's the new feature all right so now let's move on to the next one okay so there are uh bunch of characters that were having some issues with field skills as well as some party skills and abilities all right so uh major ones are the ones where it says uh attack down attacks all right so and also the attacks where so basically the attacks where it will debuff your attack or the enemy's attack or attacks that will not allow your enemies to recover hp so some they didn't list which units, but they're saying that these two skills have been having issues 
and well especially other field skills party skills and abilities all right are having some skills so because of all these uh troubles they have compensated us well the japanese version okay again we're just talking about japanese version today uh 10 ninja stones okay and you can claim the 10 ninja stones between december 14th 18 o'clock japan's time to december 28th 2359 okay so basically if you don't log in or claim it from your gift box during this time maybe they'll disappear all right it's only for people who found out about this okay so that's the, the first one and the second part is now there are still known bugs that uh you know uh, to date it is something that they know but it's not something they uh, are fixing at this moment. Maybe they'll fix it soon. Maybe it's like a small patch or maybe we're just going to wait till the next maintenance. All right. So basically it's just some minor stuff. Uh, it's when you're trying to click the back button from the gotcha page menu. So sometimes it doesn't work when you're tapping on it. That doesn't work. So maybe just tap on something else. So click on other buttons to take you out of the menu. So uh, cancel button or back button sometimes does not work. Uh, so if you want to cancel something and you find yourself or find that the game's not working, just quit it or tap on other things and see if you can just work around it. All right. So second part is the other gotcha page. When you click on the info uh, button, sometimes it doesn't work as well. So you probably can't check info uh, when you're doing the gotcha page. Uh, so yeah, that's that's some issues that they need to fix or else that's there's no way to click on the info, right? So that's the thing and finally there is this battle balance. All right, so they have balanced uh, Some of the things during the battle screen, okay, uh, they didn't really give us lots of details but they did say this so uh, for the why are you doing battle if you guys remember there's a link attacks right meaning let's say there's sakura sasuke and naruto right let's say you move naruto close to an enemy or you use him to hit an enemy then the next person you sakura and then you move close to that enemy you're trying to attack that enemy where naruto was standing now you guys will trigger the link attack right meaning sakura will attack and naruto will also attack right so now they have actually uh, lessened the damage or lessened and uh, balanced out the damage for the for the characters that have medium range large range and extra large range okay so it's saying when you're doing link attack the medium range large range and extra large range attacks are now lessened all right uh, so I don't know how much or you know what the math or equation and everything is but if you guys are noticing that you're doing less damage or whatnot that's because they're balancing the whole uh, deal right now during the battles so that's really brief we only have like one sentence they that's all they say they didn't really say any anything else so maybe it's not even affecting like our units maybe it's from enemies units when they are attacking us because it hurts like crazy right when you guys are doing like the harder missions when they link attack it totally hurts maybe it also uh smoothens out their damage i don't really know but anyways uh so now let's move on to the events so again we're just going through the japanese events because i didn't have access to the english one while i was uh well while i'm recording right um because it was still on maintenance all right so now let's go through this one this we have this new campaign uh and globally, all right, so globally, they've already hit a record of 6 million players, all right, not just downloads, they're not saying like 6 million downloads, but 6 million players, uh, uh, global-wise, uh, are playing this game. So, sorry, I keep stuttering for some awkward reason. Anyway, so 6 million players global, globally, because I was going to say global-wise, I'm like, is that even a word? Anyways, globally, 6 million players playing this game and they are having a celebration sale all right that is pretty insane uh considering like naruto shinobi collection has been out for a year and we're just celebrating 8 million downloads for that game and now it's what less than a uh, half a year we already got 6 million players but again global though not just japan global uh so that's very cool but this sale though it's crazy when i first saw it i was like what that makes me really tempted to actually spend some money so from 20 bucks, uh, well, around 20 bucks Canadian slash American dollars 
now it's only 960 yen so that's around ten dollars and for ten dollars again canadian slash american dollars i know canadian i mean i know uh american dollars are higher but anyways around that price you get 30 gems all right 30 ninja stones uh but again this is only one time purchase so once you purchase this uh this will be gone all right so you have to spend other regular uh, well, there will, there will be no deal, right? The regular pricing for like 30 bucks. I mean 30 gems. And then the second set is you can buy three times. Instead of 54,000, I mean sorry, 5,400 yen. Now it's 4,000 yen just for 90 gems. Okay, so if you guys want to go for like the higher package, then definitely do that. But if you guys did the math, if you guys you bought this once, I mean if let's say there's no one-time only deal if you times three this is only what less than 30 bucks right but unfortunately you can only buy this once but if you guys are not planning to buy or if you guys are planning to spend more than 4,000 yen then maybe just spend and get this one first right because this is like killer deal right here 30 gems for 960 yen but anyways over here this sales period will only last until december 26 2359 japan's time so that's to celebrate 6 million players globally all right, so over here we have the second edition of Shippuden Gacha. Remember my previous video that I just uploaded one day ago, uh, or one or two days ago, one and a half day ago. I, I forgot. Uh, that was the first Shippuden Gacha. All right. So some some uh, viewers actually told me, you know, that's not technically the first one. The first one was uh, Deidara and Sasori, Right. Yeah, I knew that because I made a video on that, but. In the game, they called it the first edition Shippuden Gacha. This one is the second edition Shippuden Gacha. So I guess the Daydara one and Sasori was was like a pre um, pre Shippuden Gacha that they're introducing into like introducing the phase of going into Shippuden, right? So now I think because we've officially opened up the Shippuden storyline officially inside the Shippuden era. So that I think that's when they marked it like first Shippuden Gacha. And now we're having the second Shippuden Gacha. All right. So in case you guys are wondering, uh, just like some other viewers, right? So second edition Shippuden Gacha right, right now, all right? The second one. And this time we're featuring Sasuke as well as Hinata. So I believe, well, I don't believe, I think, yeah, both of them will have six stars awakening. All right. So this Sasuke is a medium range, uh, um, yeah, medium range attack and then his attack power is 1752 all right 1752 uh attack and hp is at 1052 and uh the secret type technique is the chidori something like a chidori spear or something what it does is it deals 10 times damage to one single target enemy within his attack range so that's very cool and it's also showing you the abilities that he has uh but should I read through it? Yeah, why not? Um, okay, so for the six stars, it'll take like eight chakra to max out his, his gauge. And then over here for the first ability is attack up. So attack increases. Second one is uh, health up. Third one is critical rate increase. Fourth one, fourth one is also critical hit rate increase. And the fifth one is attack up. All right. So uh, the numbers over here is just saying for the attack up, your attack will go up by 100. Second one is health goes up by 100. Third one, your critical rate increases by 1.5 times. Uh, same thing over here for the fourth one. And the fifth one, attack increases by 100. All right, and over here with Hinata, that actually makes me more excited because I like Hinata. And uh, her range is medium. Her attack is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's very funny. And uh, HP is 1, 6, 0, 4. Her ultimate technique is dealing seven times her damage uh, to one single target enemy within her range. And also, there's 70% chance success rate to decrease the enemy's attack by uh, five turns. Four or five turns, not by five turns. Because I I was going to say by how much, but uh, there isn't any uh, numbers on it. So just decreasing their attack for five turns. All right, so her max uh, chakra gauge is six to fill up the chakra um, gauge, basically. And then her abilities. The first one is is uh, the resistance to to uh, immobilization for not 
to so she has a chance to decrease being immobilized by 10 percent basically second part is attack up so attack up is attack increased by 100 uh and also the third one is also the resistance to immobilization being immobilized and the fourth one health up fifth one is attack down wait let's see okay there's a chance well, the attack down's chance is increased, right? Remember her her ultimate technique is 70% success rate to make the enemies attack down, right? Debuff. So there's now a 10% increase in success rate for the attack down debuff, all right? So that's hard to explain, but pretty complicated, but that's what it is, all right? So anyways, this gacha will be on for until December 28th. 1159 all right so now let's move on to the next one over here uh, as I talked about this in my previous video the Jiraiya um, battle mission is now available so if you guys play during these marked times you guys will be able to find Jiraiya in the emergency mission well not Jiraiya but uh, the, the frog right Gamma Bunta and if you beat him, uh, there's a chance your rival will drop. So good luck to all of you guys who are doing the battle mission. And then over here, we now also have the Sakon Ukon mission. Uh, it's just a regular event mission. By doing it, you get like up to 27 gems uh, by doing the C rank, B rank, etc. All right. Uh, this will last until December 28th, 11:59 as well. And also, that's the character that that you can get. And over here we have the other campaign we have the heart which is the red element <clears throat> as well as the skill which is the green element uh, campaign we have the scrolls as well as the ramen so it's now uh going on so just go to your go to your emergency mission and check it out i believe it's time uh limited so there are only certain times that it'll, it'll appear yeah so it's gonna end on december 16 2359 so when before I was recording, it says there's only six hours left. So yeah, pretty short. All right, and then finally we are now going to be uh, having uh, the boss raid mission for. Yeah, these are called these were called descent mission. Yeah, that's what they were called. Now they just called battle mission. Now I guess they want to align it with the uh, English version. Uh, anyways, so these descent missions. Uh, that's what they call it anyways uh are coming back the first hokage as well as second hokage i'm not gonna go through the details you, you guys can just check this out i'm just gonna freeze right here so pause the screen if you guys want but these are the times that you need to uh you know play in order to access the mission all right so this is the time when first hokage is gonna come back so for those of you who need to lower down his cost by getting more of him remember to play during that time uh, I, I for one definitely need him. Uh, so if I can actually pull, uh, you know, find some time to play, I'll definitely want to. But I already maxed out um, the second Hokage anyway, so I don't really need to play on this mission. But anyways, for those of you who are newer uh, to this game, or for those of you who haven't gotten him yet, feel free to play during this period of time. That's when you're able to find uh, Tobidama. All right. Again, these are all in Japan's time, right? So go to Google and do your own conversion. And then finally, finally, we have, I believe this is a new Tayuya because everything is question mark. So I don't think I've seen her before. But anyways, uh, we will be getting her mission. Uh, it will come in C rank all the way to A rank. So C rank, B rank, A rank. And there's a chance to find this five stars Tayuya. Uh, she can have her six stars awakening as well. So, so the date it says soon, all right. So we don't know when yet. It says soon it'll be open. Usually, soon means a few days to a week. So, well, to, according to this game, all right. So that's it. That's it, and that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. Uh, I'll definitely read through every single comment and reply wherever necessary. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe for more quality contents, all right? And thank you everyone for watching. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and bye now.